Hey everybody, James here again. Uh, we're going to go over a few more things that I got. First off are these Minotoka mo moccasins. Take them over here. So them are Minotoka moccasins. Leather, slip-on, driving shoes, whatever, size 11. I think I paid two bucks for them. And the comps. That's the only pair I could find right there. $39.99 sold. So I'm going to sell mine for $25 plus ship. Okay, next up. Get all this stuff moved around. We have a Jim Haney trout fishing net. It's an old one. It's got a few little string issues there, but I'm sure somebody would buy this to, you know, hang up on their wall or something like that. But got some sold comps here. Last one sold June 3rd for $35. There's one. I don't know what it sold for. But there's some no real recent one, so I'm going to list mine for $25 plus ship. And I think I paid like a buck for it. So next up we have a leather BMW key case or remote start key. brand new which I found one that sold August 1st for $11.99 so I'm gonna put mine on there I'm just gonna put it on for like $7.99 I don't even have nothing in that it come with a bunch of stuff so $7.99 plus ship for that Next item I got is this ash tray. It's real heavy, clear, glass or crystal, I'm not sure. Got a few minor chips. I can't find no information on it, so I'm going to put it up as an auction. So, uh, I'm going to start the auction off at $9.99 plus ship, because I know nothing about it. So hopefully somebody will. Then next up, I got the Ozark Trail sandals, or hiking shoes, hiking sandals, whatever you want to call them. And here's one here, they got listed, nothing sold yet, 1760, I couldn't find no sold comps on these. So I'm going to list mine for $14.99 plus ship, they're men size 10. Then next up we have a Worth Shutout Series baseball glove. Oh, and I paid two bucks for them sandals. I paid a dollar for this glove. And it's in not in bad shape. So I haven't found none sold yet, but this is what people are selling for. And I'm going to put mine on for $20 plus ship with a 13 inch baseball mitt. Then we have, next up, we have a Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2 record player from the 70s. Works fine, except for the 45. The 33 works real good. But the 45, it's a little, a little slow, so they, the music kind of sounds chipmunkish. But I found one that sold August 1st, and uh, 
it went for $77 plus shipping from Canada. So roughly $100. So I put mine on for $75. Or I'm going to put mine on for $75 plus ship. Okay. And then next up is a Lily Pulitzer Starbucks floral bottle. Very nice shape. I think it's from 2015. And the last one sold July 13th of 2022. So I'm gonna sh I'm gonna put mine on for 17 plus ship because I don't believe there's none of them listed right now. But I could probably get a little more since you know nothing's been on for a month. But it's all right. I picked it up probably for a dollar. And then next up we have a Smith and Wesson Special Forces knife. brand new in its case and actually this is a first run edition says it on the blade and they have one right there for $29.95 brand new but it it just says Smith & Wesson on the blade it doesn't say it's the first production run from Crimshaw so I'm going to list mine for $19.99 and I'm going to put that on as an auction because there isn't really none of them sold. Then next up we have a model rocket. The box was all tore up so I just got rid of the box but there's several different there's a couple different kits in here. This, the rocket, unfortunately, is broke. This piece is, but it could just be glued back on. But everything's there for the Patriot rocket, and then the stand. There's some extra piece. I think this is an extra launching pad stand. There's two of these bags like that that are extra from a different rocket, but I just figured I'd throw it all in together. There's a little fuel cells down there. But, so that's just going to be parted out. I'm not going to list that as new, unfortunately. But I'll show you some, some comps, kind of. That's for brand new. But I'm going to list mine for $12.99 plus ship since it's a part set and there's extra, extra pieces. Okay, next up we have an Eddie Bauer belt. It's, a, it's like a leather, leather embossed belt with a solid brass belt buckle. It's a vintage 90s belt. It's in really nice shape, too. So, sorry for the mess in here. I've been really busy. But some sold comps. Ooh, I don't see this. Did I mess something up here? Oh, there we go. There's one just like it, except for it's black, of course. They want $22. For theirs or they've sold it for $22 so I'm gonna list mine at $17.99 plus ship okay then we have a Columbia belt it's got a few little scratches on it but I mean it's like brand new on the back it's like somebody didn't even use it, just scratched it up a little bit. Got the double loop. Genuine leather, just like the Eddie Bauer one. 
and here's one just like it for $18 pre-owned just like mine and it's going to go for $16 plus ship and then if I didn't tell you the Eddie Bauer belt it's got embossed leather so I'm going to put mine on for $35 plus ship and see what happens I got a dollar a piece in each one of them then next up is Isaac Mizrahi floral pattern castle throw pillow which is right here there's the name so we'll see here what we got I don't think I really found anything that really matched that except for that's the only pillow I could find with his name on it and it's going for 20 or it went for 28.99 plus ship but I'm just going to put mine on as an auction started out at 9.99 plus shipping and then next up we have some Ruko throwing knives set of three and then we're right here I gotta clean these up a little bit before I list them but they've seen better days got the sheath comes with the sheath I probably should have just kept them for myself but here's a set here that's pre-owned but it's got the box and they're in pretty nice shape they did a 1363 for theirs, but I'm going to clean mine up and everything. So I'm going to list them for $12 plus ship. And I must have missed some stuff back here somewhere. Ah. Yes. Next up is a vintage Eddie Bauer black and green duffel or carry on tote bag it's a vintage one and it's like brand new yeah it's a pretty nice bag And I found one there, sold for, well, probably $17, $18, something like that, plus ship. So I'm going to put mine on for $17.99, plus ship. Then we have, next, is I got four, 1975 Hoffman Distilling Company. It's Mr. Lucky, Mr. Harpist, Mr. Shoe Cobbler, and Miss Lucky. And all the seals are still on the bottles. Or the decanters, I guess I should say. But there they are right there. Mr. Lucky. Miss Lucky. Mr. Harpist. And Mr. Shoe Cobbler. And I figure I'm going to put them on auction. So I figure $15 a piece. So I'm going to start them out at $60. Plus ship on auction. All right. Next up, we have a Yeti Colster with the pop top can in it, which I could show you. And then the top of that can pops off. And still got the stickers and all that. Still brand new. But this lid pops off so you can store stuff or whatever. Yeah. Let me get it back together here.
Okay. So I found kind of one here. It sold for $15. But if you ever find the orange ones, they're the ones that are worth the money. They call them King Crab Orange. Evidently it's a retired caller. But, but mine's brand new. And it's comes with the stickers and the can. And it's, uh, you know, laser embossed with it says quality line company. So I'm going to put mine on for $17.99 plus ship. And then last up, I'm going to auction off. I have some silverware. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a lot of, a lot of vintage Roger Brothers silver plate flare silverware. I'm going to start it off at $29.99 plus ship on auction. There's 41 pieces. And this is, this is pretty nice stuff. Some different kind of things in here. But it's all pretty nice. And that's about it. I mean, I got a couple things going out. Uh, a couple purses. One's a, a blue coach purse, which you'll see on my last video. And a uh, Kate Spade purse. That was on my last video. Them two sold already. Actually, one sold within an hour and one sold within four hours. So, And I got plenty more over here to uh, list. A lot of coach purses, Victoria's Secret, things like that. Ed Hardy, got a guitar, Ibanez guitar bag up here. I think that was a, yeah, a snap-on bag. Snap-on backpack. But yeah, all kinds of, all kinds of stuff. I got some new stuff in too, but <clears throat> I guess you'll see in a future video. Well, you'll see all this stuff. All this stuff in a future video. But I did get a lot more Tupperware. You know, some golf club, and a golf club head cover. All right, well, I'm going to get off of here. Here's that box. That was, box was all tore up, so I just threw it away. But I'm going to get off here, and uh, I'll see you next video, okay? All right, take care.